I thought the L in Slugby stood for largest. Is this the longest user group meeting ever? To which we said, said. challenge accepted. The SolidWorks largest user group meeting ever, or SlugMe, is an event where the entire SolidWorks user group network gets together to see presentations from some of the best and brightest in our community. SlugMe 6 was not only the largest, but also the longest user group meeting ever. The 24 hour plus live stream featured presentations from amazing people around the globe. And to make sure we covered every detail, we set up a live news desk and broadcasted from SOLIDWORKS headquarters in Waltham, Massachusetts. This was truly an epic event. I like hop into this meeting and there's like 12 people and they're like, so we're building a car from scratch. I think this is probably the most ambitious move ever made in uh, design and engineering world to, to attempt to create a car in less than 24 hours from places all around the world. And it's so cool to be able to kick it off here with you right here in my home studio in, in New York. Three, two, one, go. All right. My name is Rob Maldonado and I'm driving for the UTC minus four time zone or the Eastern side of the United States. We've entered stage UTC minus 11, which is the time zone that American Samoa is located in. Of course we will do this, whatever it takes to do this, because, you know, connecting all our users, all of you guys is just an amazing thing. If you're watching and you're not checking out the chat, you're missing out on a lot. I mean, it is just chock full of gold. Like in the chat, Eric is saying, it seems like the theme of Slug Me, for all the keystones at least, was challenge accepted. <laughs> this whole thing, this whole, you know, elaborate thing we're doing up here, really was probably just an elaborate excuse to have a sleepover at Solid. Yeah. <laughs> That's really... <laughs> Toby! Hey, hey, hey. To take on a car with, with this much complex organic shapes and curves, I, I wouldn't have been comfortable doing that just with my, my old tool sets. So using 3D Sculptor X-Shape, I was able to jump in and just start pushing and pulling this box and holding C2 surface continuity and, and actually creating something. <laughs> kind so, of feels like cheating, right, Jason? Like when you open it up the first time in SOLIDWORKS, <laughs> you're like, I have this awesome shape and I didn't do a bit of surface modeling to get here. <laughs> Working our way one time zone west, we are now going to go to UTC minus one Cabo Verde. With a machine that the local farmers use to extract the liquid from sugar cane in the farm. One thing that blew me away about the Nigerian presentation is GP was here. And GP was so taken aback by, he sat down and stared at the presentation uh, for the entire length, for the whole thing. All I'm doing here is I'm saying, okay, where does this plane intersect with the edge, right? That's really the gist of it. That looks super, super cool. I can take this into post, just trim the edges a little bit. This is where, you know, violent accuracy comes into place because I'm just <laughs> gonna be straight up ruthless with this and it keeps up with me it does not doesn't lag at all it's like digital clay i'm just a hundred percent sculpting right now it's like magic checking out the appearances checking out the coatings all that stuff to uh to a real life you know model that, that has been printed and finished and look, look painted we want so to do crazy. like a nice evil green you know look how fast that <laughs> Yeah, how about, how about going to the bright smash. green? Maybe. Let's go super happy. <laughs> happy, happy time. There we go. I love right. it. And then there's the other benefit too. What if I just want to see those things momentarily? Just boom, select it. And we see the highlighted preview and then click off in space and it's gone. How cool is that? Just becomes like super intuitive about what is going to happen in what order when you pick it in that, in that way. You know, that's the thing about attending a user group meeting is you usually come away learning a lot of new things. If I turn on my microphone, you would have heard me <laughs> say a lot of lot of cool stuff. So I'm many, many words were spoken. 
<laughs> it's, it's late in the evening and we are getting punchy. So we have to have a little bit of crazy in order to pull something like this off. And he commented, oh, we've got crazy covered. A car body was like the, the, the pinnacle. Like, this is it. You know, you can do a car body. You can do anything, you know. And now now that I've done that, I'm, I, I feel really good about it. But it's like, it, now it's really endless. Uh, I want to thank you, of course, for putting this all together. Uh, Dan, Todd, Cam, Eric, uh, such an amazing, you know, concept and bringing it all together and organizing it just, you know, executed to perfection. We came up with this, you know, a really cool design and a realistic design. And we were able to watch the team, you know, really kind of take this from zero to hero, if you will. Congratulations, 24 hours. It just, we did it. Hey, we did it. <laughs>